Hello everyone and welcome to my FF13-2 perfect walkthrough. We just finished 13 not long ago and I had you guys vote for which game I want to do next and many of you are eager to see 13 too. So here we are. I'm gonna include everything in this guide. Getting best setups, paradigm monster setups. There is a system in this game where you recruit monsters and you combine them in a way so you get really powerful setup like that. I will explain it more in the detail. And of course all the achievements, all achievements just like FF13 are the same as the Xbox and PlayStation counterparts, so it's all the same thing. So you can use this guy for all of them. And I will include DLC in this as well. Some of the DLC are free anyway. It doesn't cost you anything. And if you're playing the Steam version, all of them are included anyway. I really miss this game. I haven't played it in years. I play the music, the soundtrack of the whole game, all the time on my Twitch stream. It's one of the best ever. And this game got the best Final Fantasy villain, Caius Ballad, and there he is. It, he is so awesome. It, it's even our Arguable if he's actually a villain. Like, uh, you can't find any better villain in Final Fantasy franchise, in my opinion. He is so. It is so epic. I love this game. Alrighty, so that was the introduction of the game. Let's change some settings here. Mm, nothing that I... Battle difficulty, there is only normal and easy, I'll put it on normal. Minimap fixed to north, yes. Alright, it's nothing in particular that we want to change. Maybe the inverted... Yeah, I play on the inverted y-axis every game. I'm just used to it like this. I don't know why. Normal mode, yes. 
not easy. I wish there was a hard mode in this, but there's only no. New save data is required, that's fine. There is also auto save, yeah, okay. That time was lost, yet time continued onward. Divine Etro, go peacefully to your rest. I will stand guard over your legacy. This endless realm is awash with sadness. Life and death lose all meaning under the rolling waves of chaos. Valhalla. The currents of time do not touch its shores. In this world of lost moments, I begin my life anew. This eternity, it was never your desire. Is that not so? You... Save it.
Hell yes! Don't need a tutorial, the fights pretty much work the same as the first game. Ah, my controller died, sorry. There we go. Forgotten time, be reborn! Bahamas, so epic. Get to yellow HP, it seems to do the shield to heal you up. There is also the stagger gauge, but it's not in effect yet. The only difference in this game is that you will have two characters. The third one will be a monster.
I don't know what button that is. It all shows in keyboards. I figure it wouldn't have me since I have a controller connected. But it doesn't matter, this one won't affect anything, if you fail it. get worse. Another fight you can okay, just the intro. Oh, I got pace. So yeah, if you get 5 star, you get increased drop rate. How do we fight him? 
this is not your battle, there's something else I need you to do. What? Bring my sister to me. Her name is Sarah. Okay. You'll need to use the portal. Your time-gazing friend should have told you how it works. That's a gate? But why me? Because you're the only one who can. You crossed the void and made it to Valhalla. You can find Sarah. And together, you can change the future. Wait. I can change the future? Yes. Got it. I'll track her down. What's happening? Enjoying your little chat. <laughs> Caius? Get to the gate. I'm counting on you. Okay. This again. Odin! Do it! What the? Sarah! Lightning! Gotta go! My hopes go with you, Noel Kreis. Become an arrow through time, and speed your way to Sarah. Be there for her, because I no longer can. Time flows without pause. In a world where I no longer exist, the future is about to change. survives, but only you remember it. Lightning. She was fighting. I guess it was just a dream. What's happening out there? Customize your camera control. Current is one, inverted Y axis. Yeah, that's what I wanted.
Just like for your previous game, data, war, data log stores all information. Okay, settings. I wanna change controller. Yeah, on screen, on screen explanation should be controller type. Yes, there we go. We found it. So we don't have many options yet. We will get it soon. Then I can explain stuff. Oh my god, I miss Sarah. She is so perfect. Uh, a message from Lightning. Lightning. Lightning is what? gone. But then, what was that dream I just had? A message from the other side? No, she can't be dead. And these clothes. Are they from the other side as well? What was I trying to do? I forgot. Oh yeah, I was trying to say that button explanations are for Xbox. But I kinda already know which button is which. Since I have played Xbox in the past, I have owned 360 in the past. So. I know that B is circle on PlayStation 4 controller. That's what I'm using to play right now, by the way. X is A, Y is triangle. Xbox X is square on PS4, so... The different timelines are combining, that's what you see here. Yes, exactly. If we don't change it. No. I want to go home. Can you fight? If I have 
have to? You're gonna have to. One more thing. Don't ever lay down and wait to die! Oh my god, it chills down to my spine. The music is so damn good. There we go, just like the first game, we have Ravager, Commando, Sentinel and all of them. We have the Stagger Gauge, just like before. There is not much change. The changes are small, which I'll explain. Paradigm shift, yeah, we know already. But we should try to not use it. AOE for these. Yeah, only attack and ruin, I don't have to lick. We don't have much choices to it, change it yet. Outfits. Oh, we have all the outfits. Nice. The beach wear. This one is my favorite for obvious reasons. <laughs> I'm gonna go with that one. I guess we have to clean all the monsters, that's, that's all it is. 
Hey, Sarah, are you okay? Yeah. Mackie. Yeah. Gotta go. Okay. All right, everyone, listen up. The meteorite hit over there. Right. We're gonna check it out. Team Yuge, ready to roll. Well, and careful. That area is crawling with monsters. So stay close. Come on. Okay. Right. You heard him. Move out. With you. You're okay. She took a hit, but she's gonna be fine. She just needs some rest. Thank goodness. And thank you. Uh, whoever you are. No. No, Chris. Okay. And before I forget, it wasn't just me. You should probably thank this little guy, too. She's the one who told me to come here. Where? Where did you see her? Was it Valhalla? Yeah. How'd you guess? I saw it in a dream. I saw my sister. She gave you the Moogle. Then the meteorite came. And dragged me along with it. I guess. Do you mean you actually rode here on that meteorite? Maybe. I don't know. Damned if I can remember. Why don't we go and check it out? Okay. Kupu? <laughs> now I know for sure. Lightning is alive. She's in a place called Valhalla. I'd only just met Noel, but I believed him. I believed every word he said. Even though it couldn't possibly be true. It seems like only yesterday. The smile on Lightning's face when she gave her blessing for Snow and me to get married. But I'm the only one who ever remembered that. No one believes. It's just a dream, they say. From when I slept in the crystal. An illusion. They say my sister is gone. That three years ago she sacrificed herself to stop the fall of Cocoon. She turned into the crystal pillar that holds Cocoon above the surface of Pulse and saved both worlds. That's what they say. But even so. Oh, how I missed this game. 
curiosity killed the cat, you know. Tell me about Valhalla. I don't know much about it myself. It's not like I lived there or anything. The legends say it lies at the end of time, in the distant future. That it's the realm of the dead. The realm of the dead? Does that mean lightning is out of my reach for good? I'm not trying to hide anything. Alright, let's go check out a meteorite. Mog lock. Well, clock, sorry. Green is the enemy is immobile and preemptive strike is possible. If you attack successfully, you will begin the battle with bonuses. Nice. Yellow, the enemy is moving ready for battle. Come into contact with the enemy will begin standard battle. Time's up, the enemy is full alert and attacks. When time runs out, the battle begins automatically. You cannot select a try for battles that begins in this manner. Okay. You can attack any enemies within the encounter circle. Press A or X. Initiate battle when the enemy is in front of you. Escape by moving far away. And when the mob clock appears, it's up to you whether to take on the enemy or not. So, so you can control pretty much if you have a preemptive or not. And you go in, you start the fight with more stagger gates if you do what I just did. Strike the enemy to begin the fight. And you gain bonuses, as he said. I uh, have haste on right now. Yeah, that's because of that. Oh, an iron bangle. Let's equip that. For increased HP. So accessories work differently in this one. You can't uh, equip anything that you have. There is points. So I, you can see it says capacity 50. That means we only can equip accessories up to 50 capacity. Iron Bangle got 30 capacity, so we have 20 remaining. If you wanna equip anything, that is. We can only equip something that is 20 or below. I actually forgot about that. But, of course, as I play the game, all comes back to me. Wow. Treasure chest. What's up, no? So this is new Bodom 3 AF. This is three years after the ending of FF13. Way too dangerous. Exactly like an Hello there. You and the others went ahead too. If we get close to NPCs, we hear what they say. Hello there. You and the others went ahead too. Five star, nice. We got four potions. That's a lot of potions. Uh, we can't edit paradigms yet. We will get to that eventually soon. Monsters, monsters. You don't think the people on Cocoon have dropped that rock? If you want to get 5 stars, it is highly important that you start the fight with the bonuses, with great conditions. 
You should be up ahead. Do you think it could be the Felsi? Is, is that a Moogle? So much yet because we do aren't gaining CP just yet. Monster smart. <laughs> Mog lights up when there's a treasure chest nearby. Oh, we got the map, nice. So we have explored 31%, you see all the dark spots on the map, that means you haven't explored it yet. And there's an achievement for exploring 100% on every map, so that is important to do. So you wanna explore, right now I won't do that, but I will do it later. Sarah, still in one piece? We're seeing lots of unfriendly critters around that meteorite. Uh oh, uh, who's this? Oh, this is Noel. He helped Lebro and me out of a tight spot. Is that right? Hey, I'm Godot. Okay, take it easy, big guy. I am not here to make trouble for anyone. <laughs> you better not. Anything happens to Sarah, the boss will string your carcass out to dry. <laughs> Who's the boss? We know who the boss is, it's Snow. The boss sounds like a bully. Eh, he's not really. Let's say I thought you were the boss. Aren't you the boss? You sure seem like it. Oh, gee, thanks, but I'm his right-hand man. What do you think? I'll see you behind this? Keep the monsters busy for me? Oh, damn, we're about to get into fight. Ah, uh, okay, so you're on a time limit as well. Okay. It's fine. Oh, boss are good. Ocean. Okay, the meteorite is this. Other. Oh, we have to get up here first. Actually, never mind, we are gaining CP. Sorry, that was my mistake. We are indeed gaining CP. So uh, it's, it's alright if you fight too much. Cocoon looks amazing. If I see another meteorite, I'm gonna shoot it down.
going on here? Am I dreaming? I see it too. Pretty sure it's no dream. Stay! <laughs> Famous Noel, huh? Yep. I guess news travels fast. The bro told me how you helped her out. I'm huge. Nice to meet you. Hey, likewise. What's with the new style and threads, Sarah? Not exactly a dress up and hit the town kind of occasion. <laughs> with you, I don't remember putting them on. Oh, I know how that goes. Hard to resist trying out a new outfit. Okay, I better get going. See you guys later. Bye. More on. Maybe it's an illusion. Like some sort of mirage showing scenery in the distance. So fast. I don't get it. it. Must be pockets of unstable time or something. More meteorite phenomena. Oh, you got that right. Oh, look at this stuff. Ever since that rock came down, mm -hmm. we've been seeing all kinds of aberrations. Do you have any idea what's happening? <sighs> Not the slightest clue. Some spots seem to have sped forward centuries, but other parts haven't changed at all. So, these areas are from different timelines. Realities blending together. Like two ages overlap. That about right? Right! It's exactly like that! Where did the meteorite come from? Even you can figure out what's going on. We go with where did the meteorite come from. I'm guessing Valhalla. Did that meteorite come from another world? Like another dimension or another time? It fell here from Valhalla. Huh? Let's keep moving. If we learn more about the rock, then we'll know more. I knew it! Well, this part is already reaching one hour long, and I'm gonna end this part here. Thank you so much for all of the support, all of the love and support, really appreciate it. And I'll see you in part two. Take care, bye bye.